Greetings friends, and it's Saturday and I just wanted to show you something. I've been doing some stuff with some batteries. Uh, firstly, I want to show you this. I'm just going to put this light on. This is a standard laptop battery pack, the sort you might buy untested. Always get branded ones if you're going to do anything like that. I just wanted to show you that because what we have in here, what we have here and here is essentially the inside of one of these. Uh, when they come in the pack as they do, they're in a configuration like that. So thus, that shape, so they'll be positive at one end going all the way to negative. So the reason I want to show you this is because to make this, which is a, a little mini battery pack which I've made to run my fuel pump, all we have to do is we fold those batteries like that and then this, uh, they end up having to get broken and they'll be soldered together there. And so that's what we end up with here. So I can get rid of that for the minute. So what we're going to do, so what we're going to do with this battery is we're going to charge it up off a IMAX B6 charger, which I'm just plugging in. So we've got this charger plugged in here and we're going to put it on charge at half an amp because my power supply that I'm using will only run about one amp. So that's saying it's full, which it may be because I've not long charged it. Right, anyway, let me just show you this. So yeah, this is the six batteries. And what I've done is they're in a 3S2P configuration. I, I weighed them and they're 290 grams. Uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna test it. We're gonna run a fuel pump to try and pump approximately eight or nine liters of diesel into my diesel heater fuel tank. So I just decided to start charging now. But it is nearly full. When it's charging at 12.6 volts, you can see it's going to be you because it's 0.1 amp, it's going to be using exactly one tenth of that. So at the moment, it's only using 1.26 volts, uh, 1.26 watts, sorry. With regards to this, I thought I'd show you this as well. This is the battery pack that I'm going to be running the wind turbine LED lights off. And that is essentially a 1S4P and that weighs 200 grams. I just that will run one single green or blue LED uh, for a, a long time, 18 hours, uh, or it will run two of the red ones in parallel for a similar amount of time. The green ones are beautiful, but very bright. You know, I, I don't want to be looking at that. So yeah, that's, that's that one. We'll probably cross that one another day. And one thing I wanted to show you with this one I've made it deliberately so that the two cables can't touch each other. Look, let me am. I can't stand him. He's so positive all the time. Let me am. No. So that's that one, but you'll see about that. Uh, we'll just let this one finish doing its thing and then we'll plug it into the fuel pump and then we'll watch miraculously as this lightweight battery does the job of a great big giant 12 volt battery. Oh, yes, I didn't show you the top, which most people just wrap tape around them, which looks pretty bad. But what I've done here is I've used uh, some cardboard strip that I cut from an Amazon uh, envelope and then I used heat shrink around there on that strip and then I cable tied the strip uh, so it's really solid. That just seemed a lot better way of doing it so there's not really, you could, if you if you were really trying hard to put something metal in there. But anyway, that was my prerogative as the I made it so I'll decide how it ends up. So we'll just wait for that to finish. It's same 0.3 amps now so what it'll do it'll keep going up and down and it'll just bleep and it'll be full so we'll wait for that to finish then we'll get it set up outside and watch it do the biz and remember it is only 290 gram i did weigh that just to prove a point that it will run the fuel pump for however long we need it even though it's only 290 grams but i'll stop waffling we'll let it finish and then to the shed we go Sweet. one thing you could very easily do if you wanted a 12.6 volt but you wanted even more uh, essentially amp hours or, or watt hours, then you would just join two packs together and you would end up with double the amp hours. Uh, just for informational purposes, the charger is running off a very old 1.25 amp 12 volt power supply. Uh, if I was going to buy one for this purpose, then I'd buy a 12 volt, at least a 5 amp or maybe even a 10 amp, but that one does the trick as long as the uh, charge amp is low. So that's all done.
I deliberately made the cable quite long. Uh, it's about a meter and a half long. I used this cable from uh, it's B and Q doorbell cable, uh, but it's okay for this purpose because this pump runs approximately two amps, and this cable is two amps. And it's not like we're going to be running it for hours and hours. Yeah, so that was B&Q 2 amp doorbell cable. You get loads of it. Dirt cheap, it's like a fiver for a 25 metre roll or something. Sweet. So I've just put those on for, uh, always do that for safety purposes. Because the only real uh, dangerous bit is these two wires uh, connecting each other. But as they're only 2 amp, I think if there was a short, there wouldn't be that much of a problem. Anyway, there's not going to be a short. So we're going to go grab the fuel pump and then transfer the fuel. And you can uh, watch in amazement as it does a good job of it. Sweet. Just looked on eBay and it appears to be a 5 amp model, so I had to take the casing off mine because the switch had broken. Right, so we've got the 8 or 9 litres of fuel in there. I'm not exactly sure how much it is, it doesn't really matter. This is a 10 litre uh, diesel fuel tank with just a tiny bit in diesel heater fuel tank for that. Right, so when I plug the battery in, we should see the fuel start pouring through. If we've got it plugged in the wrong way around, it'll do nothing. Fingers crossed. Sorry, I'm being a muppet here. Let me get this right. Dodgy connector. Good feel. So, it did it. What we'll do, we'll go put it on charge, 
I need an on-off switch really, so I'm not messing around with the connector. The problem at the start, I'll show you. See that melted little connector there? That was what was giving me the hassle. But we're all full, near enough here. So it's probably uh, eight and a half liters, I'd say, in there. No, it's all gone. Sweet, let's go see what, uh, let's go see what this beauty's on. I'm guessing it'll be under 12 volts. Let's go see. So let's see what it says. It's found it. Confirm, 3S, 11.77 volts. What we'll do, we'll leave that a while and I'll come back and I'll let you know how long it's saying till it was full again and the battery will be ready for its next use. So cheers, thank you very much. As you can see, it's been on charge less than 10 minutes and the energy is going back in nicely so it will be ready to be used again very soon. Uh, probably take about an hour and a half to charge in total. Cheers.